What are we to expect here tonight, Garrett? Thursday, 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 back-to-back -back non-stop car, crushing action, blood, sweat, and gears in Israel. It's a hot summer night here in Tel Aviv, Israel. There's no major wars going on this summer. Monster truck rally racing has found its way to the Middle East. It's in Israel's national stadium right behind me. We're gonna go inside and check it out. It should be pretty interesting. I'm in. As you can see, there's thousands of people here, and I just learned that it's produced entirely by Americans. All the cars are shipped in. I can't hear myself speak. The cars are shipped in two months in advance. All the drivers are from the States. And as you can see, the Israelis are eating it up. Bounty Hunter! Bounty Hunter! Bounty Hunter! My name is Kobe Liani. I'm the editor of uh, Walla Cars, which is, which is the biggest uh, cars website in Israel. News website, and uh, we are for this event, which is very extraordinary for Israel. We don't get the news, very often at least. Isn't this the first one? Yeah, it is the first one. We've never uh, even seen one of these here before. I'm shocked. I've seen it on ESPN a lot of times. And I didn't believe it was so amazing like this one. What's your favorite truck? Who do you think's going to win tonight? I believe the new guy is uh, this Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter? So you've never seen monster trucks? No, I've seen it in the TV, but not the first time I saw it in the live. Yeah, yes. What do you think? What do you think about it? I think it's a great, uh, great thing. You brought your, your kid? He brought me. Oh, he brought you? Yeah. It was your idea? Yeah. So, why do you why do you think so many Israelis are into this? Why do you think Israelis? There are so many people here, thousands of people. Why do you think? Well, I think because. Israelis, they say, uh, they love this uh, extreme shit, and uh, well, I gotta love it. It's, it's in the blood. Wow. wow. This is very American. This is like American culture. Do you uh, think that Israelis copy American culture? Uh, Basically, yeah. What do you like about it? What, what about it? I don't know. Those kind of shit, man. <laughs> Those kind of shit. He just jumped 30 yeah, feet in the air, look. You gotta love it, you gotta love it, baby. I love to Noim. She because she has a big deal, a cup of tea.
has it been so far in Israel? What are your impressions of the, the country and and your time here? So far, it's been awesome. It's nothing like what we had pictured it. It's way, way better. We've been uh, hanging out at the beach, beautiful girls. It's been really nice weather. We've had a really nice setup out here today, and uh, we all just had a really good time riding our bikes. Did you guys expect to see, like, a, a war zone, you know, like bullets and bombs yeah. flying everywhere? Totally. So, something like that, totally. yeah. But I thought about it. I told, I told my family goodbye. <laughs> Wasn't quite sure if I was coming home. Got here. It's no different. It's beautiful here. here now with uh, Josh Felix. He's the man that put this all together. You Josh. know what? It's been six long months to get Monster uh, Motor Extreme over here to Israel. Uh, six months of seven days a week, 12 hours a day, three trips from the U.S. to Israel prior to this show. And we finally produced the first Monster Truck and Freestyle Motocross show in a stadium on, in the Holy Land. It is probably the highlight of my career. What are your impressions of uh, the Israeli people, and, and and were they what you thought they were? Did you think, did you expect something else, or what did you? I actually, I actually did not expect what we've seen. I think the people are here are much better than I expected, and that's uh, only because you only see you only see bad stuff on on uh, in the media across the world. You know, they only show the bad; they don't show the good. I actually have never been anywhere other than uh, North America. I've never been in another country. You never been out of the United States? No. Wow. So that's another thing that's nice to to meet different cultures and different people. It's funny, you know. I'm Jewish. Um, you know, from the states, my bar mitzvah. My parents said, "Hey, do you want to go to Israel?" And I said, "No." I, you know, obviously, I wanted to deep down, but you know, I didn't want to go. I was scared. Um, I came here the first time, and I fell in love. Absolutely fell in love with the country. <laughs> What do you make of the, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? Do you have any... Uh... Um, I think it's stupid. Yeah. I think that uh, fighting in general is bad. You know what, it's funny, people talk about the situation and, you know, I watch certain news channels in the hotel, the only English-speaking news channels, and they talk about, you know, all this danger. You know, and I'm laying out on the beach, you know, r r right off of, right behind our hotel and loving life. I'm like, where's there danger? There's no danger. <laughs> Were your family, were they nervous when they said, when you said you were coming in? Everybody, all my friends and family, both, they were all nervous. They told you not to go or they told you? No, no, they told me to go. They said, go, oh, yeah, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Uh, people are looking for that big wave. <laughs> I'm looking for the big crowd, you know what I mean? Everybody cleared out of here with a great big smiles on their face. That, that means we did exactly what we came here to do.